Sports gambling is now legal in 33 states. Here, take a look at this map and Washington, D.C. And seven other states are working on laws to actually legalize it. But Texas isn't one of them. Six News reporter Matt Lively examines if the Lone Star State will ever join the others and the kind of money sports betting could generate here. A projected 31.4 million Americans gambled on Super Bowl 56 with an estimated $7.6 billion on the line, according to the Wall Street Journal. An activity that was once forbidden in states other than Nevada has turned into a multi-billion dollar industry with more than half the U.S. participating. I think what we've seen is there always was an audience for it. There just wasn't necessarily the public acceptance uh, for that. Ben Fox is the vice president of digital content at the Vegas Stats and Information Network. He says that mobile betting sites like FanDuel and DraftKings have made it easier than ever. Generally, they need to be tied to a land-based casino. And so a lot of times the casinos get essentially the right to distribute an online or a mobile license. So what's the holdup in Texas? I guess overall the difference with how sports betting works uh, in different states, I'd sum it up in one word, politics. In 2021, Las Vegas Sands, a Nevada casino company, began an advertising campaign to bring four casinos to the largest cities in Texas under House Bill 133. That was shot down with Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick saying it wouldn't see the light of day. Patrick Svitek of the Texas Tribune says Las Vegas Sands is already lobbying with 2023 in mind. Las Vegas Sands created a Texas-based political action committee in early January, uh, signaling that they want to uh, get involved in elections here. Svitek says their pitch is long-term economic development, something that could gain momentum if lobbyists go about it the right way. First step is education, and then the second step is, is getting people who are educated about it, excited about it, and willing to, you know, fight for it in the legislature. Fox says $1.6 billion was gambled in New York State through mobile sports sites in January alone. The state takes a 51% tax stake in that revenue, just around $58 million. Texas would be right up there. It would be in the top three for sure. The next legislative session is in 2023. If it's passed there, it would go to the voters' ballots months later. Reporting for 6 News, I'm Matt Lively. Now, in 2021, the Dallas Morning News and University of Texas at Tyler conducting a poll that revealed 57% of Texans would support casino gambling.